Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we have our first ever Etsy purchase. So this is a purchase from um I forgot their name, but I am going to definitely um put it in the uh description box below. So let's go ahead and dive in. Um I'm surprised that this was from Texas because they were in California the last time that I was actually um, buying from them in a different platform but it's all good it doesn't really matter as long as everything actually comes back in intact so I'm going to show you right here and these are one of my favorite sellers. Um, and I was sad when um, I thought that I won't see them again, but they were fine. So this Etsy seller, and again, I'm going to link it on the description box down below. Rollo, Robolo, Roblo, Robolo, Home and Gardens. So that is their name. So make sure you give them a follow. And let me show you guys what we have scored. First, I'm going to show you to how they package. This box is a bit heavy. Well, not really, but that's how they package. And then let's see what goodies we have here. We're going to start off with this package. And then... It's a little bit big. So, um, let me see if I could maybe I'll just do that. Oops. Oh yeah. Okay. This is what I'm super excited. Well, I'm excited for all of it, but this is the one that I truly, truly am. Like my heart is skipping. So let me just make sure. Well, we'll do that later actually. So we'll just set this one right here for now. Um, okay. And that happens. Afterwards. Hold on. Let me just make sure that none of my stuff is like. I'll be back. Okay. So everything is fine. And then, this is it, you guys. So, I'm going to open it up with you together. I thought I lost this piece. I fell in love with it in one of their shows. Um, the thing about these sellers is that they do have awesome pieces. They know what they have. They are familiar. And they have fair prices. They also, the reason why I'm loyal to them is because they have like that good customer service touch which is very important especially when you are actually purchasing things online because there's not that much of like a personal touch per se so and what i mean by that is that everything is on the web so but these sellers go out of their way to actually reach out to me and um, if I wanted something and I had to wait, they work with me in terms of like prices, um, as much as they can, because again, these are for collector pieces. I'm not sure if, um, the profit margin when you buy their stuff, I think that they, it is, but most of the stuff that I get for them is. I intend to keep it to myself because they are pricier than having to source them out myself, which I will probably will not be able to just because um, the piece is, like I said, a one of a kind. So maybe not. Maybe I just don't know. And I'm new to this new hobby of mine, but I'm so glad to be able to like connect with people such as this seller. 
So, um, I'm sorry, but I really had to show you guys how I opened this because the reason that I want you to see is because, again, this is an online purchase and I want to make sure that I demonstrate how well these people package and most of the sellers that I do buy are very good at that but things happen so and these just arrived I ordered them last week um, I can't tell you what day last week maybe it's the weekend I don't even remember so but it was quite a journey so that this this item right here I'm personally attached to so that's that they tape it out real good and oh I have to see this every day in my life because I'm in love with this and you see how big they are and I have purchased um, some pieces oh, oh 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 I thought I felt like it's detaching I'm like please don't as I was saying I have purchased some of their stuff that I'm actually enjoying looking at in my living room so um, it's just almost there guys thank you for being here with me okay all right so of course i started with the stuff let me make sure that these are all the paper i think so okay so i think i'm gonna have to clear this because they tape it so well okay Let's see if I'm able to pull it out so I can show you how beautiful this is. Oh, I see some chips. Hopefully that's not transit. Um, okay, so this is the piece right over here. Ta-da! And it is this gorgeous urn. There are some chips I show you right here on the inside particularly that part i don't know if you guys can see but see how gorgeous this beautiful piece is so they have cherubs and these are oh it doesn't have any marking i thought it did well it was allegedly because they don't have a marking cape de monte so this is an italian piece and so i was told but i don't see any markings in here so but nonetheless it's very very gorgeous and i'm going to show you the actual cover which is right here so i just had to see this look how gorgeous look how gorgeous that is we're going to display that right there <laughs> as i go through the bottom and my italian um thing Something about Italian craftsmanship, I tell you, that I'm like so in love with right now. And I'm following this lady. I watch her YouTube channel. I come across her for um, Laura Caldwell's um, Left Coast Revival. She, she is the one that inspired me to collect these vintage stuff. So, and then here we are. And then now I... I watch Crazy Lamp Lady. So there are probably a lot. Those are the people that I connect the most. Just because, I don't know, the things that they find maybe. Um, and then I'm just, I'm struggling to open this because it's packed crazy with tape. Um, there is another way that I actually learn from opening these packages, and that's like they they wrap it on saran saran wrap. So this is the top. 
oh gosh super gorgeous okay so we're gonna move the urn and then this is the top so super gorgeous and the the lid does not have any cracks so they go like this Ta-da! I love it I love it this will look really well I don't know yet what I where I'm gonna put it with I don't even know if I actually want to put it in because we're transitioning to fall so that is something that um I don't know does it does it look like this one would could be fall I don't know I don't know so we're gonna have to move things around in here the halls that you guys have seen already so that we can all um, open some more goodies I think that's good so I received three boxes from them so this is the other one right here and again um, who knows if I got tired of like staring at this in my house I'll probably like they're probably going to make an appearance on my shop. And I'm going to link it on the description box down below. I do not sell on Etsy. I do have friends that does that. But I just I just don't understand the concept yet. And I'm about to. Trust me, I will. <laughs> so. Alright. So this is how this one is packed. And then... I'm just going to go through. Oh, okay. So I think I know what this is. There's one. Oh, and I know what this one is too. Two. Um, okay. Yeah, three. So... We're going to open this one first because it's in my lap. And if you see this, you also know that these are my collection. If you have been watching my channel. So, oops. I'm going to put that there. And we're just going to cut this piece. Like we did the other one. This is more intricate. Yeah. So somebody else got something in their spot. So because I have reserved certain certain items, but they were having some uh some issues with their shop, so um, but when it was available, I didn't really grab it right away, which is my fault because I was like, is that how much it was supposed to be? I couldn't remember. I don't know if I deleted the email, but because it took them a while to really get back with me about certain things, so... Pretty baby. Uh -huh. um, it's not. Uh, like, oh, yeah. Yeah, right. Oh, okay. Just trying to be careful because, again, this piece is quite intricate. I'll show you. Okay. So I have to be careful when I actually package wow. this. So. Okay. Hey. I wonder if I right. Google so it. Is it that cool? It it's going to come out. Pretty sure it would, but I'm curious because yeah. it, it's why? not marked. I thought I had a mark, but oh well. Yeah, why did you want out? Okay, almost there, you guys. Uh, uh, you wanted out because he wasn't going to get the job. Uh, pardon my 
husband he's playing his game again this is not if you've been in my channel you do know that he does that quite a bit and we just got our internet back yesterday so he's been catching up with his buddy per se yeah, i'm gonna do this in the phone. okay all right so i have this beautiful piece right here now this one is marked so it says right here it is called old blush and they are these beautiful pieces Diva. Diva. of cape de, cape de monte this is just like literally a um a souvenir piece and there are no chips no cracks let's admire how beautiful this piece is doesn't it look so stunning like it looks like it is indeed like um like whoever made this my goodness and the thorns right here super gorgeous so thank you thank you i'm gonna lay that down in there and then there's two of them so here's the other one just gonna try to like cut through this part and i'm learning a lot with these professional people that actually um ship stuff to me well even the ones that are not very good in packing because like the, here's what not to do so that yeah, your stuff won't break it's written in American, so, so but so far so good i do appreciate that people like took time in like doing this you know um and extra appreciation for people that actually package them that they didn't just look like they smush a bunch of stuff in there because it might not be that much to you but when you are buying something and you receive the gift like it's so sloppy like you put a bunch of like i don't know like um plastic bags in there from the grocery store for fillers i get it i get it you know you need to protect the product but i've also had like sellers that will take time in like fill filling them that it's aesthetically nice looking such as this one all in brown paper so i'm all for eco-friendly but it reflects on you when you are packing something or sending something or whatever that's just my opinion and i'm bobbing blabbing my mouth because i'm having a hard time opening this and i'm not even showing it to you because my camera is not set up that way, but maybe someday. I tend to do that, though, because of, like, my, my channel was originally, like, a crafting channel until these people that I watch at YouTube started inspiring me about the things that they find and their treasures. Never really stopped to look and admire these things that... Some of them are not in business anymore. So, okay. So this one, the design of this is, um, it's called, I cannot see. Um, I can't see. Pierre Orgus or something like that. Oh my God. This is so stunning. Okay let me show you guys look how beautiful this is and they're literally thorny aren't those beautiful and it's like literally signed right there whoever well it's not signed but the sticker who made this it's right there and of course my camera will not focus but it's so gorgeous so i'm very very happy to have this on my collection thank you thank you oh my goodness i don't even know and then this one is pretty exciting as well because um look at my time i'm already 20 minutes i found one of these um at the 
Salvation Army out in the wild. It was my first Fenton piece. And then I found these that they have it. And this one is a nice color for the coming season. And I cannot open this for the love of me. So what we're going to do, because we are getting into that mark, I'm going to open this off camera. Okay, guys, so it's this Fenton Swung Vase, and I just love the color. They match with my urn. And then, again, it is signed Fenton. I wonder if Fenton is, like, from Michigan. Because, like, we have a Fenton, Michigan, like a place. And then we have a last box right here. But I have to move some things before I destroyed my Cafe de Monte little pieces that I purchased like from years. I forgot where I got them from, but they are precious to me. So we're going to put Miss Blush right over here. Okay. All right. And then let's open this last box. This last box is also nice. Of course. Why would I buy something bad? Somebody can say that about what I'm picking, right? Okay. All right. Um, I already know what it is, but I'll just show you guys how they package this one. Okay. So, ooh. <laughs> so they have a styrofoam right there. I'm laughing because... Again, if you are, have been in my channel, you do know how I feel about these things. Just because I have pets, I have dogs, so. Um, and one of them is very curious. Ooh, okay. I'll show you how it's packaged. <laughs> ah! dun, 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 dun. Do you all see? So what I have to do is I'm going to take all the pieces out and then I'll show you guys, okay? I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So this is what I have or purchased. So I'll show you. I did a little chunk more here. Dun, 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 dun. So it is a set. So of I thought it was like a tea set. But the spout is different, and I'm going to show you. Before I break my Cafe de Monte, I'm going to put them a little bit further away because they're very fragile. Oh, they're not fragile. They're intricate. Okay. So I'm going to set this aside right here so I could show you guys up close and personal. So... Okay, let's talk about this. So, all right. So, as you guys can see, um, this one is a little bit different spout. I'm not sure, but I'm going to find out. Um, I think this is like a chocolate, a hot chocolate, like, pot, which is, I'm excited because I want to get that. And then it comes with this nice, like, little bowl right here, which is, I'm assuming, for, like, sugar. But doesn't make any sense, like chocolate, sugar, maybe, I don't know. But I love the details on the side. I love the two handles. They are a bit smaller than what I thought they are. Um, it is artist signed by ELB. So I'm assuming that this is like a hobbyist piece, but the I think this is transfer wear. It's so gorgeous, though. The yellow flower just really attracts me to it and then you have the um cups right here as you can see the cups are a bit small because um i like my mugs well for coffee we drink like probably like mm, i don't know 20 and up ounces but this is a bit small but i can see myself having hot cocoa on this one just because i don't I don't do sweets that much because I have problems with that. 
and I like the handle and again it has the markings so I have three of the cups and then there's like the creamer right here or whatever this one is assuming that it's creamer because of like the spout and I just spotted a chip boom right there I don't know if you guys can see super tiny maybe a flea bite if you call it but i didn't see that and then this is the beautiful pot right here super gorgeous so i'm just gonna start off with the lid first because the lid is super awesome so that is the lid super nice it has a little puncture right there but i don't think it goes through yeah, it doesn't. So the artist took time in like painting it. And now it's, I'm beginning to think that this is like a hobbyist piece just because the paints right here, they're all over the place, but they still do a very nice job. And so that is the lid. And then the actual picture, as you guys can see, it is a little different from like my teapots. I don't have anything in because they're downstairs. The but the handle is gorgeous. The inside is also glazed. And you see that. And then of course the artist. So the whoever made this really did a really, really nice job. Again, I think it's transferware. And when I was opening it, I was like, oh, this is not that exciting. But then I was thinking, because it was like crazy lamp lady that told me that this spout right here or something like this is considered like a chocolate, hot chocolate one. But still, it's awesome. And that is it, you guys. Thank you guys for joining me, and I'll see you guys soon. I'm going to link the in the description box below the shop. Um, that I purchased this on Etsy and if you wanted to visit their shop follow them they have amazing um, items in there and like I said the shipping is awesome and then you saw the packages so you saw that they they know how to package stuff and everything I think arrived in good condition I don't know if that chip and the chips on that what I found is like already there when I purchase it I just didn't see it but I'm very very satisfied so um, if you want to visit my eBay shop there are free item shippings right there so take advantage of that and also we have our first show for whatnot and that would be on September 16 I would love for all of you to join us and um, Say hi and, you know, hang out with us and we'll see you guys soon. Bye.